Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do another reading for today. And um, I just cut this deck. I decided to use the vice versa deck. This is for the 19th. I cut it, and we got the moon. <laughs> of course, we got the moon. Of course, we got the moon since uh, we're we're coming right into these uh, full moon energies, right? So we have the moon. It's not on the traditional side, thank God. Somebody is about to see see things clearly. Are they, or they are starting to see things clearly? Some clarity is being received. Something that was hidden and been but hidden beneath the surface is being revealed. It's no longer going to be hidden. The light is going to be shown. It's like coming out of the darkness. So whatever has been hidden is about to be brought to light. We're going to go ahead and shuffle this time. <laughs> King of Cups. King of Cups. Wonderful. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ooh, the Judgment Card. Judgment Card. Wake up call. Wake up call. Reconciliation? I don't know about that. Somebody, and this is the receiving the truth. Again, enlightenment. Somebody is being enlightened with the truth. It could be the King of Cups <laughs> coming coming forward with the truth. It's like. He's mastering his emotions quite well. He's, he's seeing things clearly. This guy, the water is pretty clear. He's seeing things clearly, and he's got an offer of love. Oh. I was just going to say, he's, he's, looking, he's looking right at you. Um... And he's looking at you. So yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, jeez, I'm... Ah. The hangman. Again, he's facing... He's, he's facing... He's facing forward. He's not facing... He's facing forward. He is... He's been stuck for quite some time. Looks like he's been enlightened or he's being enlightened. He's gained a lot of strength. He's got a lot of muscle there. Oh, God. I'm just going to get some more cards here. Ten of Cups. The Tower. Oh, somebody's walked away. He let somebody walk away. Imagine that shit. Okay, well, Chariot. We are probably dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. I, I'm just going to tell you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Scorpio. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It, I mean, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is very prominent here. Somebody is ready to face the opposition. They might get in their vehicle and head in your direction after they let you walk away. They may want some sort of reconciliation. They've become enlightened. They, you know, are seeing the light. There's been some sort of destruction here. Oh, God. There's been some sort of rude awakening. There's been some sort of... Uh, smack across the head, something like that, some sort of epiphany, some sort of uh, breakthrough, okay, that has enlightened this person to a point where now they may want some sort of relationship because the love is finally slipping away, really slipping away. Somebody wants reconciliation. 
And that's what I see. That is what I see. Yeah, because it's about to sail away. The ship is about to sail away. They've been juggling, they've been playing games, and the ship is going to go right past them. It's like, it's going to, it's, it's about to be out of sight, and ain't that the truth? That's the truth. Okay, if he doesn't get, get on the ship, you know, if he keeps playing his games and he doesn't get on that ship, it's going to sail right on by. So somebody is waking up, they've received some sort of epiphany that they need to get in their vehicle or they need to make some sort of move before it's gone. It's gone. Oh God, it's definitely a reconciliation from the past. There's no doubt about it. Oh my goodness gracious. Ten of Swords, somebody has been hurt, stabbed, left for dead. <laughs> but it looks like they're stepping outside of their shell. Somebody's about to step out of their shell. This person's been trying to protect themselves from getting hurt again. Wearing all that armor, but he stepped out of his armor. Now he's he's uh, doesn't have that armor on. Somebody is coming forward. <laughs> Somebody is coming forward with a message with a, with 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 an oper with an with with a. desire for to be in a relationship after they have waited and hung around and played games for quite some time. We're dealing with a person here who was uh, disorganized and didn't know what the hell they wanted and now they've received some sort of epiphany, rude awakening of some sort and now they're coming with an offer of love. Their ego and their pride got in the way. And now they have a genuine offer of love. I mean, the King of Cups is facing forward. I mean, he's got good intentions. He's got good intentions. And he wants a reconciliation. So we have, and it's somebody from the past, the Six of Cups. And, you know, he's really, he's ready to face his, face the demons. He's, he's went through a lot of depression and anxiety and fear, and um, it's almost like he's, that's like a prison bed right there. He's been in his own prison, living in his own prison. But now he wants this, this is the Ace of Cups right here, he wants this reconciliation. So we have a, I, a person, I'm going to say a person in this one. We have a person that I think it's a man. I'm sorry, but I have this. I tried not to say it, but I have to go. I know a lot of people you don't like it, but I'm telling you right now, I I honestly feel it's a it's a it's a man, masculine that is going to come forward. I don't want to hear any comments below about oh Jennifer, don't say this, don't say that. I don't need that kind of shit. Just keep it to yourself. Whether you're supporting me or not. We have a man here. That let another person walk away. Now he's received an epiphany. He's received a breakthrough. He's been broken. Without this person that he loves. He's been broken. He's been broken. And he realizes that he cannot fix it alone. And he wants some sort of reconciliation. He wants to fix what he broke. And he's going to, he's mastering his emotions. We have somebody here that is finding the strength within him to master their emotions and offer a reconciliation of love. You could be receiving a call or this person could be actually knocking on your door, heading in your direction.
He's afraid. He is afraid. This could be a female because water is a very feminine sign. So it's a male or a female. We have somebody that is making an offer of love and it's somebody that you have known before. I'm not going to pretend that's what it is. Somebody that you have known before. And this person that walked away or the person that walked away got hurt by this other person's ego. And this other person let them walk away because of their ego. That damn five of swords. It's the worst card in the deck. It is to me anyway. And now they're finding, the, they're mastering their emotions to, you know, speak their truth. They've had some sort of epiphany through their period of enlightenment, you know. And if they don't come now, the ship is gone. The ship is gone. I think they know that. They see that. Because they see their, they see that. And it's, it's absolutely evident. So, um, yeah, we have a, we have a, we have a person that is stepping outside of their shell to go after love. So we be prepared to receive some sort of <laughs> knock on your door or call, you know, that says, you know, how are you? How, how are you? Can we fix this? Something like that. Something like that. I don't know. Let's get one of these cards and see what it is. See what comes up. I don't know who this is for. It will not resonate with every single person. So keep that in mind. Whoops. Whew. Journey by Moonlight. Oh my goodness. Journey by Moonlight. I gotta find the book now. Believe in magic. Believe in magic. Magic is all around you. Spiritual dimensions and mythical realms are only a thought away. The veil is thin right now between you and the realm of elves, angels, and spirit beings. It's indeed a magical universe and the key to opening the doors to the realms. The key to opening the doors to these realms is to trust okay even if you can't see trust that you are being supported in mysterious and wondrous ways all is not as it seems with that moon card we just the very first card that's funny all is not as it seems trust your intuition and those nudges from spirit believe the very first card that's funny was the moon card I opened it up to that, too. When the traveler journeys by moonlight, <laughs> that's crazy, mystical beings emerge and magic abounds in the depth of the enchanted forest. Even though the traveler can't see clearly, he trusts that the blessings and support are being showered over him and his life. The key to having miracles transpire in your life is to believe in magic and trust that you are supported by unseen beings in accordance with your higher good. This is something that somebody has manifested. There's some sort of reconciliation with somebody that you have known before. This could be somebody from a past life. It absolutely could. It could be somebody from a past life or it could be somebody, you know, that you have been wanting to hear from, praying for an apology.
We'll see. The trick is to believe. Because your thoughts do become things, right? If you believe, then it that's the way it goes. So, there's somebody from the past, whether it's a past life or a past lover, that is waking up to their true feelings. And they're going to come forward. They're going to step outside of their shell. They're going to stop protecting themselves and they're going to face their fears. Because love is slipping away. And if they don't act now, it's just about out of sight. It is. So, there's an opportunity for love. If this person truly, truly, truly... comes with the truth. Good luck. 